Roads leading into Brisbane turned into a sea of hot pants and helmets as more than 1,500 cyclists completed a two-day ride to conquer cancer. Their pain and sweat have paid off, with more than $5 million raised for the Queensland Institute of Medical Research to fight breast, bladder, brain, prostate, colon and kidney cancers. It's been an arduous 200 kilometre journey, but these riders have crossed the finish line to a hero's welcome. It's a race where everyone's a winner. Many have overcome far greater challenges just to get here. Yeah, I was uh, diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2010 and when I came out of surgery, doing this ride was one of the goals I set myself. Others who work on the front line against cancer swapped their lab coats for Lycra. What's really great about this event is that it really you know, brings scientists to meet the people and you hear a lot about the stories and you really you know, begin to realise the, the importance of the research that you're doing and how it affects people on a day-to-day -day basis. Melanoma researcher Ken Dutton Register rode in honour of Brisbane woman Kay Nichols, who died earlier this year. It's forged a lasting bond with her family. If we can prevent what we've been through for other families, that would be... It would almost mean that our mum's experience wasn't in vain. As silly as that sounds, it's been, it's been really helpful for our grieving process. This race has a bigger picture, vital research and equipment. There'll be specific projects that have early stage, high potential that we fund. There's some major projects that are what we call flagship projects that we will give a big boost to. There's one goal everyone shares. The kids don't go through it. And if that happens, it's worth everything. With an estimated 23,000 new cases of cancer diagnosed in Queensland this year, it's well worth the effort. Francine Norton, ABC News, Brisbane.